What's up guys, Jason here. In this video I'm going to be teaching you how to easily get a bunch of many books in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This method works on 0.17 and all other recent versions of Minecraft Bedrock where the plenty phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. By the way, many books can be used to apply the many enchantment to armor, weapons, or tools. Whenever you are wearing or holding a many item that does not have full durability and you gain XP, the many item will be repaired. As you guys can see here, this method will allow you to quickly and easily get a ton of many books. To use a mending book on an item, all you need to do is place it on an anvil, then open it. Now place the item that you want to apply mending to over here. Then place a mending book over here. As you guys can see here, that will then give you the item enchanted with mending. For this method of getting mending books, all you'll need is one lectern, two pistons, two buttons, one bed, you can use any type of bed that you want, and finally 10 solid blocks. You guys can use any type of solid block that you want. By the way, a couple of examples of solid blocks include cobblestone or wood planks. The first step is to go to an area that is at least 100 blocks away from any villages, beds, or workstations. Now take some solid blocks so you guys can use any type of solid block that you want, then place down three, one, two, three, then place three over here, and three over here as well. The next step is to temporarily place three blocks over here. Now break this block. Then stand at this spot. Now place a piston over here. Make sure that piston is facing downwards. That piston will push a lectern down. Once you have done that, place a piston over here. Make sure that piston is facing upwards. That piston will push the lectern upwards. Once you are done placing all those pistons, break these three blocks. Now place a button over here and a button over here. Now place a block over here. The next step is to take a villager over to the spot. By the way, you guys can use any villager you want except for a green coat or baby villager. Also, don't use any villagers that you have already traded with before. If you want to use a baby villager, you will need to wait for it to grow into an adult first. I am now going to show you a couple easy ways you guys can get a villager into that chamber in survival mode. To do that, first temporarily place two blocks over here, two over here, and two over here. Then come to the back. Now place a block at this spot and two over here. Now place four rails like this. One, two, three, four. Then extend this rail system all the way over to the nearest villager. Once you have found a villager, place down a minecart. Then push the villager into the minecart. Once the villagers in the minecart, push it up into that chamber. Huh. By the way, if you guys have any trouble pushing the villager up this rail staircase, all you need to do is break this rail, then replace it with a powered rail, now place the lever over here, then flick it. That should help you get the villager up into that chamber. Once you have a villager in there, come down to this spot, then break this block, now break the minecart, then replace this block. By the way, if you guys don't want to have to create a rail system all the way over to the nearest villager, another option would be to find a villager, then place down a boat next to it. Once the villager is in the boat, attach a lead to the boat. Now slowly walk over to the chamber. As you guys can see here, the villager will get pulled towards you. By the way, make sure you don't walk too fast, otherwise the lead will break. If the lead breaks, all you need to do is come back here, then pick it up and reattach it. If you guys ever have trouble getting a villager up a ledge, all you need to do is place down some water. Then pull the villager up the ledge. Once it is up, you can collect the water. Once you are near the short rail system that you made earlier, all you need to do is break the boat. Then place a minecart over here. Now push the villager into a minecart. From there, you can push the villager up into the chamber. After you guys have a villager at that spot, break these blocks. Then break a rail system. Once you're done doing that, place a block over here. The next step is to link that villager to a bed. To do that, place a bed over here. Now wait for the villager in bed to show green particles. Once the villager in bed have shown green particles, that means the villager has linked to the bed. If your villager does not link to the bed, try breaking all beds at the village or villager breeder you got the villager from. The next step is to link that villager to a lectern. To do that, replace this block with a lectern. Now wait for the villager and lectern to show green particles. Once that has happened, it means the villager has linked to the lectern. I am now going to do a quick fly around so you guys can check and make sure you made the setup correctly. In front, you guys should have the lectern and that top piston facing downwards. Down here, there should be that piston facing upwards. This side should have your bed. The back should be looking like this. Finally, this side should be looking like this. I am now going to show you how to use this setup. 
To use it first check to see if the villager is trading for a mending book. If it is not trading for a mending book, exit out of this trading menu. Then push this button. After the villager releases to the workstation, check its trade again. If it still is not trading for a mining book, exit out of the trading menu. Then push this button. After the villager releases to the workstation, check its trade again. If it still isn't trading for a mining book, exit out of the trading menu. Then push this button. After it releases, check its trade again. You guys are going to want to keep repeating that process until you finally get a mining book trade. By the way, it may take you many tries to get the villager to trade for a mending book. As you guys can see here, I finally got a villager that trades for a mending book. Once you have a villager that trades for a mending book, make sure you trade with it. That will ensure it does not lose the mending trade. As you can see there, I have traded for a mending book. If you want to get more mending books, you can trade with it again. Once you have traded a certain amount of times, the mending book will then become out of stock. To get the mending book back in stock again, try waiting for one in-game day. As you guys can see here, after one in-game day, the mending trade is back. By the way, if you guys don't want to pay the increased price for the mending book, you can try waiting for one more in-game day. As you guys can see here, after waiting for one more in-game day, the price has been lowered back to the original amount. I am now going to show you all one easy way you guys can get a bunch of emeralds. To get a bunch of emeralds, I recommend you make my raid farm. In this farm, pillagers will spawn at a pillager spawn spot at a pillager outpost. Whenever they spawn, they'll get pushed off by that glass block into that lower trident killer. Whenever the lower trident killer is turned on, they'll be automatically killed. After a pillager captain is killed, you will get bad omen. After you get bad omen, a raid will start because there's a villager in a bed up there which designates this area as a village. All the raid mobs will spawn in this upper tower, then get pushed over there. All the ravagers will get killed by the lava and all the other mobs will get pushed into the upper trident killer. Whenever this trident killer is turned on, all those mobs will get automatically killed. You guys can collect all the XP over here and all the loot will get followed down into the collection system. As you guys can see here, this farm will give you a ton of emeralds and other great loot. The emeralds that you get from this farm can be used to trade for many books. A link to my tutorial for this farm will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed learning this method to easily get many books in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Once again, many books can be applied to armor, weapons, or tools to give them the many enchantment. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out more of the Minecraft videos. I upload every day. Thanks for watching.